Hey, congratulations, it's another World Grand Prix final for yourself. Tough battle out there against Michael Smith, how would you sum it up? Yeah, I was um, glad to win the first set against the darts. I was very frustrated to lose the second set against the darts. And yeah, it was 2-1 down, backs against the wall, but I came back fighting and won the fourth set 3-0, like he did the set before. But yeah, it was a very difficult game, but one that I'm glad I stuck to my guns and came through it. You frustrated early on that you weren't in front. One all probably should have been two 0 up. Yeah, definitely. I knew I should have been two 0 up. But I played. I think I outplayed him first two sets. And yeah, I think he was quite fortunate to go in one all. And then I was unfortunate to be two one down. But that's the way these great games go sometimes, and you have to keep battling, which I did. You know, I got myself back to two all for the third break, and then came out broke him and I had my darts. And yeah, I think, I think I deserve to win that game. Saw some big celebrations from you. We saw what it meant to you up there. It's the first time we've seen them all week, like consistency like that. Yeah, yeah it's, I'm defending a lot of ranking points. So I, I want to do well in this tournament, ease the pressure in the tournaments that are coming up because I know I'm defending points in the Grand Slam. So if I go on now and win my next game, win this tournament, then yeah, lots of pressure off towards the back end of the year. I can just relax and yeah, course into the World Championship and hopefully course to live, lifting our trophy. What is it that this tournament that brings the best out of you? Because that's three finals now in four years. I don't know. I, I, I hate the format. I, I hate double start and I, I hate the way the games go, but I think I just concentrate a little bit more and get in the zone sometimes. And yeah, today, a few, few times in that game, I probably slipped out of that zone and didn't concentrate enough. But thankfully, I got myself back in and, and, and won the game. But it's, it's a difficult tournament. And... Yeah, sometimes the cream rises to the top. No matter who you play in the final, do you believe that you'll be the big favourite? Well, I should imagine so, but it doesn't really matter who's favourite, who's second favourite. You know, you need to perform on a day. So I'm into the final. Whoever comes through this one, fair play to them. They probably, well, they definitely deserve it. But it's going to be a tough game. Whoever comes through it, but. Hopefully, I can put a little bit more pressure on them today than I did Michael Smith because I slipped up early on and let him off the hook. But thankfully, he didn't punish me. Kessie, many congratulations, this one. Kessie, do you think that third set from Michael, where he was averaging 110, was, was the moment you really sparked into life after that? Yeah, probably because I sort of gave up a little bit and I was like thinking, no, no, I'm, I'm two one down, my, my throw. Don't let him break me, just get it back to two all and restart first to two. And that's what I did. I thought, you know, get off the stage two all, try and do the best I can in this next set, which I won three nil and yeah, after that then I just felt yeah, after after the first leg of the of the fifth set, I felt really comfortable and thought that Michael started missing doubles to start, started missing scoring in between loose slip and um, wayward darts and I thought yeah from from there on in after maybe first second leg of the fifth set that, 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 that I had him under the cosh. How many more gears are there to come from you because not really seen the best of you yet. But no no there's, the there's plenty more gears there it's just whether I can bring them out you know is um, sometimes when it's double start you sort of lose concentration and lose what's main part of the game and that's to get your scoring, scoring boots on. And yeah, you're more concentrating on trying to hit a double, and then when it comes to scoring, you sort of forget about it, and you, you're 97, 60, 98, and it's it's not good enough. The elite group of players to have won this tournament more than once. What would it mean to become multiple Grand Prix champion? Yeah, it would mean the world to me. You know, I'm defending some points towards the back end of this year, so it would mean the world to me to lift up another trophy and ease a bit of pressure going into the World Championship and, and into the Grand Slam as well. So yeah, it would uh, mean the world to me. Could it be a big moment in your season tomorrow? Get a win here, and it's such a really nice look for the end of the year. Yeah, it's uh, it'll probably be a good confidence boost, even though I haven't played particularly well. But you know, when you're winning and not playing too well, then it, you know it, it goes a long way. Because if you're losing and playing really well, you've got nowhere to go. And yeah, I've got a lot of improvement in my game. And if I play play my A game, then yeah, I'll play. Obviously, a lot better than I am, but I think I put them a lot under a lot more pressure. You say confidence boost, though. Do you feel like you, you need that going into the back end of the year? Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm not playing particularly well. I'm letting people off in legs. I'm playing amazing one leg, rubbish the next leg. Yeah, and it's, um, it's just a little bit frustrating, but you know, I'm still winning 
winning matches, getting to the quarters, semis, finals, winning <laughs> tournaments. So when I bring my A game, make a look out. Sorry. Congratulations, it was a real tough match. Is, is it sometimes difficult when it's been relatively straightforward up to this point to then compete with a player like Michael Smith when it is an up and down game? Uh, yeah, but I, that was down to myself, you know. I was um, playing really well, missing loads of doubles to finish off legs and finish off sets. I should have been two 0 up. Then I'm then I'm one all and two one down, and you know it sh I think it showed a lot of character for myself to you know dig in deep, get it to two all after the third break. I'm putting him under a lot of pressure on his throw, and that that was my game plan after I was two two one down. But you know, it was one of those games. You know, you're always gonna roll people over and beat them 3 nil each set and you know three sets to nil in, in in matches so he's a world champ world number one you know even though i want to win four nil it's just never going to be possible so michael's been average 110 in that third set and then you just put your foot down and got to the end four two do you feel like the extra experience that you have in this format helped you get over the line that helped you really crack on after that yeah not so much in this just in this format but in the situations i've been in in so many tournaments where my back being up against the wall, I've had to come out fighting and you know, I knew I was playing pretty decent in this game and I just didn't need to let him get, get too far in front. So to give up a little bit in that set, you know, feeling sorry for myself a little bit and then, yeah, to get it back to two all, three nil myself and then go on and win the match, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm proud of myself. Next up is having Luke Pumper's Joe Collins. How much more in the tank is there for tomorrow's final from you? I don't think there's. I don't think I've used any of the tank. You know, it's full. It's ready to, ready to empty. I'm. Um, I'm played nowhere near my A game, and if I do, then I think I'll lift this trophy. But it's just one of those formats where you don't know how well you're going to start, how well you're going to finish, and how well you're going to play in between. So, yeah, it's a unique tournament and a difficult one to play in. Okay.